Now, what you see when you first get into PDM should be similar or the same as other users across your organization. And I, I say that because it's what you see and what you can do in here is based on permissions. And uh, your permissions may change to other users, um, you know, based on your, your role, your function, that kind of thing. Um, but in a nutshell, what you're seeing here is an extension of Windows Explorer. So you see folders in here, just like you would in a normal Windows environment. They're just a different color, the green instead of um, yellow or manila. Um, but you can access them just like you can in, uh, in a normal Windows environment. You double click, you can jump down and you can go into these folders and you can see things. So at the, at the root level, it's really not that much different from a typical Windows environment. However, down at the bottom here, you have this, this interface, which is the connection to PDM. Now, what you see down here is very much visual feedback from the system. So you don't actually need to do much down here. This is just giving you or providing you lots and lots of good information. So for example, let's go back into that projects folder and let's select one of these folders. With this data card tab active, I see information about that folder and its contents. If I was to click on a different folder, I get different information and it's regarding that project, that folder and its contents. Now this will also work for files. So for example, um, let's actually go back there and we'll go into this folder. You'll notice there's a couple of files in here. I've got the data card active and I click on a file. It provides me a lot of great information about the file itself. These are custom properties within the SOLIDWORKS file that are now being displayed on the data card. That means I don't have to open the file to see the description, the material, and the project name and all that good stuff. It's all right at my fingertips. Another really nice tool in the user interface is this tab on the left hand side. So this one here is my preview tab. And what this does is it gives me the ability to see a picture of the file. Now, based on my current settings, I've got this set uh, with my option to show the bitmap for SOLIDWORKS files, um, where I can, sh I can show the bitmap, which allows me to very quickly navigate through the different 3D files. But then it gives me this, um, this green E in the middle. So if, for example, I want to do more with this file, like I might want to rotate it, measure it, uh, mark it up, that kind of thing, I can simply click on this green E. And what that does is it loads the file in our viewer application called eDrawings. So you may be familiar with eDrawings already, but that actually works inside the preview window of SOLIDWORKS PDM. As you can see, now I'm able to rotate, zoom, and, uh, and really get a better 3D view of this file. The eDrawings interface also extends a bunch of tools that are very, very useful to us. So one that I always like to show is the measure tool. So let's just say, for example, you're, you're working in procurement and you want to validate that you're purchasing the right size piece. Okay, You can use the preview window, eDrawings interface and the measure tool to validate that everything's correct before you go ahead and place an order. There's also some other great tools in the eDrawings interface as well. So if you're working in an assembly, you can do things like section views. You can even explode the assembly and uh, animate the explosion so you can see internal components. So this preview window actually provides a, uh, a great interface for, um, for viewing the files themselves. It works on other file types. So for example, here, I've got a PDF. Click on that. I can even preview the PDF. And if you have PDM Pro, you can use Office. Yeah, Office documents will preview in here. Any application that you have a viewer installed on your computer, you can, uh, you can hook it up and you can use the viewer to see the, the contents of the files. So just like the data card, it speeds up your ability to access great information. You don't have to open files to see the contents. You don't have to open the file to, to actually visually look at the file itself. You can do all of that in this interface. 